Daly was afraid of several things. First of all, uh, he wanted to quiet down all the demonstrations. Meanwhile, the anti-war movement had been reaching some kind of height, although we didn't know it had heights yet to reach. And there were, you know, the New York Review of Books of All People had a cover drawing on how to make a Molotov cocktail, and people were gathering around, and there were yippies and yuppies and all that stuff. And Daly was going to make sure that they didn't get on television. And not knowing what he was doing, which is very common when outsiders deal with television, he decided there wouldn't be any. So he got a tame union to create, to declare they would not. They went to some kind of strike arrangement while we were still in Miami with the Republicans. There was an electrician's union, and it was necessary. We had to have them to connect. I mean, we didn't need them to set up in the convention hall, but to connect to the transmission. And uh, at the last, actually the treasurer of the Democratic National Committee said we should move it to Kansas City. I guess nobody let him in on the deal. And all of a sudden, Daley came to an arrangement with this union, with the electrician's union, and they agreed to make the connection from the hall, but no mobile units. And uh, they, instead of paying the guy who did it, we paid into some kind of strike benefit fund. One of those complicated things that looks better in a union newspaper than in any kind, you know. So the idea was you could not get mobile coverage yeah. of demonstrations outside the convention. Which probably would have worked in 52 and maybe even 56, but mm -hmm. what happened was the trucks were parked in that street, I forget the name of it, right behind Michigan Avenue, you know, the hotel, the, the, the uh, Blackstone and the Hilton, or Michigan, and there were, I don't know, every network had their trucks there. And they all had portable generators and tape machines. And so when the cameras didn't come to the demonstrators, the demonstrators came to the cameras. And the cameras recorded it on tape. And motorcycle messengers took it either to the hall or to the, in our case, to the merchandise mart, your transmitting point in Chicago. And so this stuff got on. Some of it. I think only when you go back over the records, only a little bit of the, of the, of the, of the uh, violence got on, on tape. It was much worse, uh, the stuff that was out of the range of the camera. I mean, when the, when that, when that investigator, I forget his name, he coined the term police riot, he used an exact term. That's really what it was. They went nuts. The only way the people in the hall knew what was going on outside is by that time you could have a little portable television. Mm -hmm. And we showed some of the stuff. And uh, Tad Van Dyke to this day says that we, we defeated Hubert Humphrey. Mm -hmm. But uh, we had no choice. We had no choice.